Bill Belichick retires. I mean, I knew it was coming. I think we all knew it was coming. And with these NFL jobs, I mean, it's usually Black Monday. Well, it's kind of been spilling out. It's like been a, a black week. Like, coaches got fired on Sunday and and Monday and Tuesday, now Wednesday. So it's just kind of just spilling out slowly but surely, slowly but surely. And we'll see what else happens. But Bill Belichick, he's out in New England. Let me ask you all a question, and we'll get into to greatest coach of all time, because I think he is. I think he is. Some people, well, he cheated, and I'm like, hey, man, they were all cheating. He just got caught. He just got caught. They were all trying to do the same thing. But I think he's still the greatest coach of all time, NFL coach. Having to deal with the salary cap, six Super Bowls, it is what it is. But a question Do y'all think that Tom Brady carried him? Because I think two things can be true. I think he can be uh, the greatest head coach of all time, and I think he could be carried by Tom Brady. I think two things can be true. So, and it doesn't matter what he is minus Brady. Brady played under him. And here's what we will say, too. Is Brady the great? I mean, everybody says that he's not the greatest coach without Tom Brady. Well, is Tom Brady the greatest quarterback without him? The answer is no. And just because he won one Super Bowl in Tampa, that don't mean he was the greatest coach. Y'all know that he he wasn't the driving force on why they won that Super Bowl. That defense was lights out in Tampa. So two things can be true. You know what I'm saying? I think Tom Brady carried Bill Belichick. But I think Bill Belichick is still the greatest coach in the history of the NFL. And if you go back and do a deep dive, and I did this earlier today, what great coach doesn't have a great quarterback? Name the coach that's considered the greatest coach of all time and is in that conversation that didn't have a great quarterback. You can't come up with one. You can't come up with one. Tom Landry had Roger Stallback. Chuck Knoll had Terry Bradshaw. And I'm a Steelers fan, and I don't know that you would say that Terry Bradshaw was great. The one coach is Joe Gibbs. Yes. Jim Eaton brought it up on TikTok. Joe Gibbs. That was the one person, and he didn't let me get there, but I appreciate it, Joe. I appreciate it. That was the one coach because he won three Super Bowls with three different quarterbacks, and none of them were great. I mean, Joe Theismann, Jay Schrader, Mark Rippon. None of them are great. But let me ask you this question. Is Joe Gibbs the greatest coach of all time? I mean, how often does his name get brought up? I mean, does it? Should it? Maybe that's a better question. Should Joe Gibbs' name be brought up? Yeah, maybe it should. So, but other than that, all the coaches had great quarterbacks. All of them. You know, somebody is going to bring up the Raiders and Tom Flores. And he had Jim Plunkett, who Jim Plunkett wasn't anything special. And he wasn't. Hell, the two years that they won the Super Bowl, Jim Plunkett wasn't even the starting quarterback to start the season. Which is kind of nuts when you think about it. But, yeah, Joe Gibbs is never brought up. So, John Gruden is not in the conversation for greatest coach of all time. I I can't believe somebody would say that. So, Brady didn't win all those Super Bowls. Bledsoe would have won the first one, but Bledsoe didn't win the first one. He got them to the Super Bowl. No, Bledsoe didn't get the Patriots to the Super Bowl. He played a half of football. Stop. Stop. Come on, man. And how do you even know that they would have been in that position? How do we know that Bledsoe would have even gotten them in that same position? We got to stop this. It is what it is. I'm a Steelers fan. Okay, I am too. So, 
I get what y'all are saying, though. But bottom line is Brady won six Super Bowls. And I think he carried Belichick. But I think Belichick's the greatest coach of all time. Two things can be true. Two things can be true. How much do you all hold all the, the cheating and stuff against them? Do you guys hold a lot of that against them? I, I don't know if I do. Because everybody was doing it. They got caught. Somebody reported, what was it, Eric Mangini from the Jets reported him, told him to stop doing it, or I'm going to report you. And Belichick said, screw you. I'm going to do it anyway. And then he reported him. Because Mangini was on his staff and knew what he was doing. That's crazy. So, but yeah, I, I don't know. Do you, do you, do a lot of you guys, and, and I'm just looking for answers, TikTok and YouTube, do y'all hold a lot of Belichick stuff against them, the cheating scandals, the flake gate, spy gate? Do we hold that? Somebody says, yeah, if you have proof, yeah. I, I just, you know, cheating is cheating. But it, when everybody's doing it and then one person gets caught and they make an example out of you, I don't know. I don't know. My man Quiggle, thanks for coming to the live, Quiggle. He said Don Shula is one of my greatest coaches. Yeah, of course he's in that conversation. He has to be. He has the, the record for all-time wins. Got to be in the conversation. Here's somebody, and I know I'm biased and I'm a Steelers fan. I don't think Chuck Knoll gets enough credit for being a great coach. I know they had a ton of Hall of Famers, but he helped put the team together. I just don't think Chuck Knoll gets enough credit for being a great coach. I don't. I don't. I love Chuck Knoll. I think he was an outstanding coach. And let's just be honest. Let's be honest. Terry Bradshaw is on the list. If he didn't have four Super Bowls, Terry Bradshaw is on the list of being one of those guys. Is What the hell is he doing in the Hall of Fame? You know what I'm saying? I mean, Terry Bradshaw was not a great quarterback. He was clutch. He was clutch in the Super Bowl. Absolutely, he was clutch. You go back and you look at Terry Bradshaw's numbers, they were mid at best. Average at best. So, it is what it is, man. It is what it is. Bill Belichick, out. Do we think that Bill Belichick coaches anywhere else? What is he, 72 years old? 71 years old? Does he go somewhere else and coach? I, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. Does he go? I mean, I've heard Atlanta, Washington. He would never go to Carolina because he ain't going to deal with that owner. But what do we do? We think that he goes. The Bears have a coach. Apparently, the Bears are, are just fine with their coach. Seattle, I don't think he's a West Coast guy. I, I don't think Belichick, Belichick is a West Coast guy. I don't think he'd go all the way out West. I'm not saying it's a bad job. I'm just saying I don't think that he would go all the way out there. Or to the Raiders. And the Raiders need to just hire Antonio Pierce and, and move on. Hell, I was seeing where Antonio Pierce was going to get interviewed by Tennessee. My question about that is, you got a former player as a head coach you get rid of that guy who's a defensive-minded coach to interview Antonio Pierce, who's a former player, defensive head coach. You already had that, and you didn't want that anymore. So why are you, what is this, a Rooney Rule thing? I mean, why would you ask permission to interview Antonio Pierce? That makes no sense. You had Vrabel. Oh, well. I know I've heard rumors that Vrabel wants to go to New England. If I was him, I wouldn't go. I think Vrabel's a really good coach. I think Vrabel is a win-now type of guy, and I think Atlanta would be the perfect spot for him. All they need is a quarterback. They've got other pieces. Their defense was pretty good. They got a good O-line. Build up that pass rush. 
I think Atlanta would be a great spot for Mike Vrabel. Great spot. Now, Washington, here's the thing we got to do, and I said this yesterday. We got to stop looking at Washington as that downtrodden organization that they've been for 25 years. They got new ownership. Remember, it's not Daniel Snyder anymore just running the franchise into the ground. It's not him anymore. They got other people. They got new ownership. So to me, I think that Washington can be good in the next two to three years. But who's going to take that job? Will they be patient? I think if new ownership understands, hey, our roster isn't, it's not horrible, but it needs a lot of work. Needs a lot of work. And a head coach coming in there, they're going to have to be patient with. Is Bill Belichick wanting to go to a situation where, you know what, it's going to be two or three years before we're good? Again, 70, what, I think he's 72. You're going to be 75 before you're good? I don't know, man. I don't know. And I'm not trying to bash anybody's age or anything like that. I'm not that dude. I'm just saying, if you're only going to have a coach and you know he's only going to coach two or three years, do you want to bring that into your organization? I'm just not sure. I'm just not sure. I don't know that you want to bring somebody in that you know is only going to coach two or three years. I mean, Belichick's not going to coach till he's 80, is he? I don't think he's going to stick around till he's 80 years old. And do you even want him to? You know? College football coaches and NFL coaches, it's starting to turn over. You know? It's starting to turn over. The older guys are getting out, and the younger guys are coming up, and that's just the way that it is. You know? Everybody's saying, well, they're getting out. They don't like this. They're being driven out. And we'll get to that in a second. But you're just getting older. I mean, facts are just facts. Like Pete Carroll, 72 years old. Now, I know he doesn't look it and he runs around and, you know, he's got a ton of energy. But he's still 72 years old. Are you wanting to bring in a 72-year-old Pete Carroll? I don't know. Bill, Bill's not an East Coast guy or a West Coast guy. I don't think he's going to Seattle. That wouldn't make any sense. That wouldn't make any sense. And yeah, all these coaches are millionaires. You're millionaires at 72. Maybe retirement's not so bad. Maybe retirement's not so bad. Let's move on, people. Let's move on.